Hi kindergartners! I want to teach you a new game that you can actually play all summer long. You are going to need a beach ball or maybe a bigger bouncy ball. Either should work. And I chose to use an expo marker like your dry erase marker because you might want to take something off the ball when you're done playing. So my first step, and I had actually already done this step, was I marked the ball, I know it's a little hard to see because it is see-through, with numbers one through six two times. So on my, my uh, beach ball, you can see the number two, four, and these are on there twice. So around the whole ball, I have numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, but two sets of them. That way, if I land on two sets, I can still use those numbers. Now, you can either play this with a partner or you can play it by yourself. I'm going to teach you how to play it by yourself, but know that you can also turn this into a partner game. So I have written my numbers all across my beach ball or your bouncy ball with the marker. Now, I'm just going to toss up my beach ball. And I caught it. And I have to see what numbers my hands are closer to. My hand landed on the number five. If you can see five and then on this side it didn't land oh it did land right on the number two now I have to say five plus two equals seven this is to practice your math backed fluency then I answered that question then I toss it up again I landed kind of in between the two and the four so I get to choose and on this side I got a six so I'm gonna choose a two and now I tell you 2 plus 4 equals 6. I toss it up again, whoop, and I landed on a 2 once again, and a 1 on this side. 2 plus 1 equals 3. You can play this game with subtraction as well, so I could have said 2 take away 1 or 2 minus 1 equals 1. If you were to play this with a partner, you would just toss it back and forth and you both have to tell the math fact. This is to continue to practice your math fact fluency of addition and subtraction. I hope you have fun with this game all summer long.